What's up guys? We're back for a special review. We got Gary in studio here. Gary brought us this thing. Gary, what do we got here? Well, we've got myself in the studio. It's good to be here. Hey, thanks for coming. Doing down. a little twist here on this Friday, doing a I live love review. Your sweatshirt. Thank you. It's gorgeous. You guys can pick yourself up one of these really soft, subtle, <laughs> sup, sup, subtle, subtle? Uh, How do you say that? Um, what is the language of origin? Uh, I think the word you're looking for is it's supple. It's supple. Correct answer. Supple. It's very supple. It looks very supple. Grab this on the uh, the merch store along with some other great gear we've got. Pick yourself up one of these sweet V-necks. Whoops, messing up with the mic, Matt. Jeez. <laughs> Anyways, it's good to be here. And it's good to talk about this product on our Friday, Friday product review. It's the Engel BP25 High Performance Roll Top Cooler, Backpack Cooler. This thing is beautiful, Gary. What made you uh, pick this one to review? You know, I was a little bit familiar with Engel. If you guys aren't familiar with Engel, they've been around for about 60 years. They got started in Japan and they, uh, I think we're in the refrigeration business. And then uh, a New Zealand guy or Australian guy, I think it's a New Zealand guy, um, purchased the company or took the company over about nine years ago. And they've really uh, expanded their offering to include a lot more than just kind of your standard bait tanks. Their product line um, is, is pretty incredible. Um, think of them as a, uh, a company like Yeti with mm -hmm. the types of products that they offer consumers. Um, huge in the fishing community, right? If you're in South Florida, uh, you're on any boat, you're going to see, you know, a live bait, a live bait tank that's probably an ingle. Yeah. You know, live I, bait I tank. have, I have seen their their fish bags. I think when uh, when we've been out fishing. So really, really high end uh, products. Um, great name, but they're not known. They're not widespread mm. um, in terms of just the people knowing who they are, like a Yeti, right? Yeah. Um, so as I was doing some research on, you know, backpack coolers, which is what we wanted to kind of take a look at, I couldn't find them. They weren't showing up on Gear Patrol or, you know, any of these kind of websites that do top 10, you know, backpack cooler reviews. And I thought, God, that's odd. I know their products are, are super high end and uh, keep ice cold. And I wondered why that was. So I reached out to him and I said, you know, we'd like to do a review of one of your products. Can you send us something? No. 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 So we paid for this one. Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah. Can so, I win it? No. No. Oh, that's too bad. This when you guys gorgeous. can win it, though, in five days... Um, so, you know, they do things a little bit differently, right? They don't give their products away to guys reviewing them. Um, they, uh, you know, they're confident in their brand and, and uh, their products. And uh, if you want to review one of their products, you got to buy them. So we were happy to do that. And, and uh, you know, as I said, we've got the BP25 that we're taking a look at today. And so some of the cool features about this thing are what? I, I think it's like the perfect size just to throw on your back. Uh, it's not too big and it's not too small, right? I feel like I could probably fit a case of beer in here at least. Um, 24. 24 cans of a 12 ounce product is going to fit in there. Yeah. And the thing I think is really cool is if you're fishing, and let's say you're in the ocean in South Florida and you've got to go overboard. Well, this now becomes your ditch bag, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. It's, a, it's a dry bag, essentially. With this rollover, it's completely waterproof. Drop your cell phone in there, your radio, uh, any sort of things you might need to survive, jump in the water. Now it's a flotation device. Oh, so I, that's a cool aspect of it. That's my kind of flotation boat device <clears throat> that keeps your beer with you. Right. Right. <laughs> um, you got about three different ways, I believe, that you can carry this bad boy. You can do it on the side handles here. Okay. The rollover will unsnap here and here, and you can snap it up at the top. Oh, for a top handle. And now that acts Very as a top clever. handle. What else does it have that's cool? Two handles here and then a handle here in the back. And then obviously the- Plenty of ways to carry it. The backpack straps, you know, you can grab them there as well. Yeah. Really good padding on this thing. 
Um, super firm base, you know, so it's stable if you've got it loaded. Do you know what this thing's made out of? Because it looks like it's a textured material, but it's actually smooth, which, I mean, it feels like if you got anything on here, you could just like wipe it off with a, a wet Kleenex almost. I mean, it's so smooth. Matt, let me go to the spec sheet here and okay. give you the exact way that the manufacturer describes what you're feeling there. All so right. the bag itself is composed of a durable 850 denier fibers, whatever the hell that means which provides maximum strength and absorption resistance. And so this, this kind of laminated, smooth feeling you feel on the, on the material, this, this sort of canvas material, it's very mm -hmm. smooth. You're not gonna get any stains or fish bait or anything, nothing's gonna stick to this. Yeah. And so that laminate is described as a thermal plastic urethane, TPU film. So it adds another layer of protection against punctures and scrapes and scratches. So super well made. I mean, look at all the stitching for the handles. Oh, it's, it's a beautiful cooler. I mean, for sure. I even love the red stitching that they use on it for accents, right? It's, I mean, I love when something is both functional and it looks good. Yeah, and it I definitely think, is a good looking bag. Yeah, this thing definitely looks like it checks both those boxes. So we dug in a little bit to their patented pending vacuum technology. Tell the folks kind of how that works, Matt. Yeah, so we hooked up a, uh, a vacuum pump to this thing just to see how it works. And uh, it pulls all of the air out of the lining in here. Um, so all you have is foam. And we watched a video on this, and it's actually the foam that keeps uh, everything inside of it cool, not the air. So you wanna try to get rid of that air and that's what they built here on the side with this valve. So just take, uh, you could just take your vacuum ho hose from your vacuum, just put it up there for a couple quick seconds and you'll see from the video, it just sucks all the air out uh, of it. So we're not gonna do a super deep dive. We're not gonna do an ice test on this thing. We really wanted to just do this kind of brief overview of this bag. We think it's a great bag, but we're gonna dig into this thing. Okay. And test it out, I think, over the next four or five months and check on its durability. We'll do an ice test on this thing because the manufacturer claims that Ice will last in this thing for three days. Three days? Yeah, three days. Wow. So I think that we should put that to the test here in Arizona. Let's and see do if it. that's really, uh, I think they describe it as optimal conditions. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that means, but three days is a pretty lofty claim. So we'll, we'll check that out. So we'll do a follow-up deep dive review of this product in, I don't know, maybe six months. Okay. So we'll check on how well it's durability is held up and we'll do a nice test and, and just see what we think of it then. But right now it's, it's phenomenal. So what are some of the other cool features that you, you see right now? Like the water, the water bottle uh, yeah. holder there I, is uh, cool. When I was looking at this earlier, I had my smart water bottle in it and uh, perfect fit, right? For a larger size water bottle like that. Um, this pocket in the front, I loved this, so you can see it. Nice uh, dry pocket. A welded uh, zipper and seam there, and then here's my phone. You'll see it's a perfect size to fit a, uh, an iPhone. So back to it being a dry bag, um, you know, being able to double as a dry bag, that's awesome. I mean, knowing that my phone is nice and safe and secure in there along with my keys, that's pretty awesome. What we got here, a built-in bottle opener. Yep. Beer opener, yeah. bottle opener. Well, hopefully you're not <coughs> taking bottles to the lakes. No. God knows glass isn't good there. You've got these kind of grommelet uh, attachments here, right? Yeah. I like that. So if I've got additional water bottles or maybe a, a bait box or something like that that I want to strap on, I've got, a, I've got grab, I've got, what are these called, grommelets? Grommelets, um, you know, I'm not sure on uh, the name of these. That's, uh, I've seen these on like hammocks that let you clip on carabiners. And carabiners, yeah. yeah, exactly. So I'm, I'm assuming that's what those are for there. The base, super solid. Really flat, yeah. firm, 
That's not going to move around on you. Um, so how much will this thing hold? 25 quarts, hence the name BP25. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> so they're saying 25 or 24 12 ounce cans. And well, luckily, got, I got 24 12 ounce cans here. Let's so let's put in it there. in and see uh, how the size is. Look at that. Nice. Plenty of room. Yeah. Right? So wow. the bag dry is three and a half pounds. So load it up. It's going to be a little heavier, obviously. So that's fully loaded so now. So 24 times 12 ounces is going to give you what, another 20, what is that, 24 pounds? Yep. I'm a math whiz. So, so we're all loaded up now. now. What do you say we go uh, take this outside and see how it handles? Let's do it. Oh, these, these straps are nice and comfortable. They're thick, they're padded. Just feel good on my shoulders. Clip that bad boy right there. Oh yeah. Now you're ready to go. All right, let's go test this thing. All right. So Gary, we've uh, spent a day with this now, taking it through its paces. How are you gonna rate it? Wow, I think on initial first impressions, you know, this thing's really well built. For sure. Um, you can see something when it's quality made. The materials that were chosen, the stitching, uh, the stability of the base. You know, I really like the vacuum technology. Um, you can see all of the fasteners here, the latches, this, the clips, everything is high quality. Um, I mean, so on a first impression, Matt, I would give this probably an eight and a half out of 10. But what I think is the really important review and rating is going to be six months from now. We'll run this thing through its paces. We'll do the ice test. Um, will we'll really, I think, wear it, right? Mm -hmm. Use it. Yeah. I think that's the rating that probably really matters. But on an initial first feel, look, touch, it's a great looking backpack cooler. Absolutely. I, I think, you know, eight and a half is where I would put it. How about you? You know, I like that eight and a half. Uh, for me, the size is perfect. I mean, the feel, it's just, it, like you said, it's quality. Um, I tell you what, though, if this thing can keep ice for three days, yeah. I, I think I'd give it a 10, to be honest with you. True. Because, I mean, in assuming it, it, it's not going to leak after three days, too, right? We only tested it for a day here, and obviously no leaks, but... Absolutely. Um, That's the real, you know, indicator on, on a, a backpack cooler is how long it's going to keep your stuff cold. Absolutely. So it's impossible for us to give it a 10 based on cooling when we haven't had a thorough chance to uh, to test its cooling yeah now we can rely on the manufacturer they say three days we're going to test that out so how do you get your hands on one of these well, we've got a couple options for you you can follow our purchase link that we've included in the description below and up in the top right and purchase one for yourself or you could enter the review to you drawing and try to win hours for free and the rules well they couldn't be any simpler just make sure you subscribe to the channel like this video, and then leave a comment in this video with the hashtag we hid somewhere in today's review. We then use a highly sophisticated random selector to choose our winner. Winners will always be announced right here on the channel at the conclusion of every month in our winners compilation video. And if you want more exclusive review to you content and perks, such as badges, emojis, and members only giveaways, then become a member of our winner circle. This has been reviewed to you, where the only thing we love more than amazing gadgets is giving them away for free to you. What else, Matt? Is that it? I think that's is it. Is that it for today's review? So thanks for joining us on this little bit of a different uh, Friday product review. 
We hope you uh, enjoyed our look at the Angle BP25 high performance roll top backpack cooler. We sure like taking a look at it and think it's a great product. Well, thanks for coming by the studio today, Gary, and bringing this thing by. This thing is awesome, and I can't wait to win it. See you guys. Bye. Make sure to click that link up on the right to see our current review and giveaways, and that link up on the left to subscribe if you haven't already. Hey, and we've got a merchandise store now. You can check that out down below on the right. From Matt and Gary, we'll see you guys next time.